I repeat, my name is Teodor Lucian Grigori. I'm professor in uh, Military Technical Academy Ferdinand and Pay, uh, Ferdinand I in, in uh, Bucharest. Uh, and I will present uh, my papers, my paper, MEMS INS GPS positioning device for uh, urban life mobility uh, improvement. Uh, actually, we will see the results from an internal project of the military technical academy a part of the the results uh, obtained in in, uh, in this project okay so uh, that's the title of the presentation my colleagues who participated at uh, this uh, project uh, so you you can see the summary of the presentation now yeah 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 that's okay so uh you will see the the project contest, the data fusion mechanism based on uh, adaptive neurophase inference system algorithm. We, we will have a, a data fusion between uh, an inertial navigation system and the global positioning uh, system. Also, uh, you can see the experimental setup for the data collection, the algorithm evaluation with experimental data and the uh, conclusions of the of the paper uh, the project contest uh, context it's related to the the improving of uh, the access of people with disabilities and of elderly to all aspects of uh, urban uh, life uh, uh, anyone uh, know that uh, we have uh, Several PC, Android, and iOS mobile mobile applications for smartphones, which uh, try to help the the people to live better uh, lives by offering traveling guidance or uh, information related to different accessibility uh, accessibility accessibility issues available in certain uh, cities or uh, states of the world. What uh, we know that uh, we know that uh, all these uh, guidance applications uh, use geographic data and positioning signals from the GPS. Uh, once we use the, the GPS uh, signals to, to uh, uh, have a position of this kind of uh, people. Uh, we have some problems because uh, all all these applications uh, are used in the urban environment where the GPS is uh, negatively influenced by many factors like uh, multiple paths, interferences, uh, and uh, signal blockage due to the uh, artificial obstacles, uh, buildings, and uh, uh, another uh, another uh, obstacles. Uh, it, it is clear that with the, the permanently enlargement of the application domain uh, of the global positioning uh, system, increase the needs to have a fully operational and accurate positioning and navigation systems. Even in the in, in such uh, areas. Uh, where the GPS signals are lost due to the wrong communication with the satellite, satellites, for example. Uh, for example, uh, to uh, overcome this uh, negative uh, uh, aspects uh, related to the GPS functioning, uh, for many applications were developed integrated navigation uh, systems, which supposed to bring near the GPS another positioning, another navigation uh, system. So the GPS become to be assisted by other navigation uh, systems, such as inertial navigation uh, system. Uh, the advantage of the INS coming near the, the which come near the gps it's the complementarity uh, uh, of the of uh, its characteristics uh, to gps uh, so uh, from from this point of view ines was uh, adopted 
as the main player on the integrated navigation uh, system systems market near the GPS. Uh, our group is uh, coming from the aviation uh, domain, so uh, we use intensively uh, this kind of uh, data fusion between INS and uh, and GPS. And the idea of the of the project, to, to, the idea to bring the, the the results of data fusion between INS and and uh, INS and GPS. In the in the field of uh, elderly uh, people, uh, um, coming from our expertise related to 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 this kind of problems with the GPS, also in navigation when we navigate, for example, in uh, in the mountain area where we have uh, problems with the uh, GPS signals. Uh, so we uh, we uh, bring our expertise in in this area based on the same uh, uh, motivation like in aviation uh, like in aviation uh, applications uh, so uh, because uh, we can lose the the gps uh, signals in uh, different uh, areas in uh, inside the cities uh, we can uh, use the INS to overcome the non availability of GPS signals but unfortunately for a short time because the the inertial sensors the inertial sensors which uh, uh, equipping the inertial measurement unit of the INS uh, has a lot of uh, of errors, especially uh, when we uh, go to the MEMS uh, uh, kind of uh, of sensors in in the uh, with with uh, a high degree of uh, miniaturization. So uh, we try to to do something else to overcome also these kind of errors. Uh, coming from the uh, MEMS uh, sensors. And the idea was to, to bring an adaptive neurofuzzy inference system which learn the behavior of the navigator when we have uh, uh, full data from the GPS. Uh, in order to use this, uh, this already learned uh, lesson to navigate, when the GPS uh, becomes uh, unavailable. So, uh, we propose here an everyday life instrument for people with visible and inv in invisible disabilities and for persons with uh, reduced uh, mobility to ease their access to all aspects of uh, urban life, like their workplace, but also parks and stores, public spaces, or uh, uh, transports. Uh, the developed instrument will have more complex applicability, not only for travel, but also for everyday uh, life. Uh, like I, uh, I, as I already uh, told you, our instruments include the, include the, include this uh, MEMS INS, MEMS Inertial Navigation Systems, system and the global positioning uh, system, uh, both fused based on adaptive neurofuzzy inference uh, system integrated as is uh, the, the uh, usual uh, mechanism by using a Kalman filter. In this paper, you, you will see the results obtained during the evaluation with experimental data of our proposed uh, position in the positioning uh, mechanism. Shown are the data fusion mechanism based ANFIS algorithm, the experimental setup for the data collection, but also the algorithm evaluation with uh, experimental uh, data. Uh, the data fusion mechanism based uh, adaptive, adaptive neurofuzzy inference uh, system is based on a Kalman filter and on, and on the complex fuzzy inference uh, system, we'll see that uh, we have six fuzzy inference 
uh, inference systems uh, included in the in the ANFIS. Uh, the the mechanism, uh, the integration mechanism supposes uh, actually two uh, navigation phases: the training phase and the prediction uh, phase. Uh, in the in the uh, figure, you can see the training uh, phase of the proposed uh, mechanism of the synergic navigator. Uh, we have here the, the inertial measurement unit, which uh, contains uh, six sensors, three actuometers, uh, and three gyros to uh, uh, monitor the um, line, uh, the the translation and rotation. Uh, movement here we have the inertial navigation systems systems a system which uh, receives uh, data from the uh, emu the gps system the classical integration data fusion uh, system based on kalman filter and here we can see the uh, adaptive neurophase inference system which is trained based on 10 inputs and uh, six outputs the outputs will be the uh, speeds of the vehicle in the northeast and down uh, directions, but also the position in terms of latitude, longitude, and uh, altitude uh, obtained with the navigation uh, system. Um, so here is the, the training uh, regime. We can see that uh, the system uh, have a, a valid uh, GPS, so we have uh, during the training access to the, the GPS uh, data. In the ANFIS, uh, adaptive neuro phase inference system will have six uh, independent phase inference system, uh, one per channel, three uh, speed channels, and another three position uh, channels. Uh, so we have Ten inputs and uh, six outputs. Uh, the AMFIS is trained during the proper functioning of uh, GPS, like I already uh, told you, and works together, attention with INS in the prediction phase on short periods when the GPS signal is lost. Here we can see the operation, uh, the operating principle for the uh, uh, mechanism when the GPS signal is lost. So the corrections provided by the already trained uh, adaptive neurophase inference system, it's com uh, are combined with the estimates of the navigation solution errors provided by the Kalman filter. And after that, we'll have at the output the synergic navigation uh, solution. So this is the second phase, the prediction phase of the proposed synergic navigator. Uh, here you can see the, the few, few pictures with the preparation of the uh, experimental setup, uh, but also with the collection of uh, data. So the, the hardware structure, including the inertial uh, detection uh, unit, was boarded on a car to collect more data in order to train the neuro uh, fuzzy uh, inference uh, system here we can see uh, the positioning of the uh, boarding vehicle uh, during the collect uh, during the, the uh, phase of collecting data to train the um, ANFIS were made a lot of uh, tests. We collect a lot of data in a specific area. Uh, before uh, the fusion of the data, of the GPS and INS data, in order to train the, the adaptive uh, fuzzy inference system, we need to, uh, to have the same uh, rate for the data. Uh, for the INS data, we acquired 
uh, the data with the sample rate one uh, with 100 sample per second, while the GPS receiver provide, provided data once per second. So this is the data of the INS. Here with the green, we can see the data obtained for GPS. So we need to estimate the data, the, the lost data, to have the same rate of both systems. So uh, before uh, put together the INS and GPS data, we use another uh, adaptive neurophase inference system playing the role of an extrapolator to have the same uh, sample rate for, for both uh, systems. The structure is uh, uh, this one. After a significant number of experimental data were acquired, we we're starting to train the uh, adaptive neurophase inference uh, system. We have here the training structure for uh, each uh, phase, phase inference system. So we have 10 inputs and one input having, I repeat, six channels, three speed, three speeds and three uh, position. Here you can see an example of the, the data acquired from the inertial uh, sensors. You can see a lot of noise on the, on the sensors because the sensors is uh, MEMS sensors with low performances. The evaluation of the system was made in three different scenarios. Open sky detection, when we have full-time available GPS, intermittent GPS signal, and uh, the, the best scenarios, the blockage of GPS signal when or working just the inertial uh, positioning. Here is the software used to uh, design, to train our proposed mechanism. In the upper part, we can see the, the algorithm, the, the inertial navigation system algorithm with the inputs from the inertial sensors. Here is the data collected from the global positioning system. Here, we have the Kalman uh, filter used in navigation, the six fuzzy infrared systems, and also the uh, corrections and the uh, output uh, data, the output, the, the synergic data obtained at the output of the navigation uh, system. When the GPS signal is available, the integrated system works based on the signals received from the Kalman filtering algorithm. When the GPS signal is lost, it switches to the configuration INS trained and FIS in the prediction, the second phase, the, the prediction uh, phase. In the second situation, when the GPS signal is lost, the INS signals are fused with the previously, previously trained NFIS data. Uh, also, as I told you, we have here six uh, fuzzy inference systems, six independent fuzzy inference systems, uh, which uh, provide us the informations uh, uh, related to the positions, the three uh, positions, latitude, longitude, and altitude, and uh, three speeds in north, east, down reference uh, frame. You can see here the uh, rules uh, after the fuzzy inference uh, system training for latitude channel. We can see in the uh, in, in the second uh, uh, graphic in the second picture the evolution of the uh, training error during the training epochs. Also, uh, we can we can observe the, the latitude the deviation uh, for trained fees uh, in different uh, for different uh, epochs. The same thing 
we can uh, can be observed for longitude channel we observed that the the training error uh, decreased and also that the deviation it's very very uh, uh, small between the used data and the trained uh, model the altitude channel the north speed channel the east speed channel and also the vertical speed uh, channel after we trained the adaptive neurofuzzy inference uh, system we made some simulations related to the evaluation of or, or uh, of uh, absolute mean deviations between the data and the fuzzy inference uh, systems models and you can see here the values obtained for different uh, uh, stages of training untrained after uh, uh, 50 epochs and uh, so on also uh, we can see here the vehicle position evaluation when the gps signal is available attention raw data were used for ins solution evaluation so we don't filter it, uh, the uh, emu date the inertial measurement unit uh, data before the uh, be before they their fusion so we we can observe here the INS provided position with the blue, with the red, the GPS position, and also with the dotted green, we have the integrated uh, system, the synergic uh, navigator solution. We can see what's happened if we use just INS. The error, the deviation uh, is due to the uh big errors of the uh, inertial measurement uh, sensors so the the because of raw data the same thing is in the latitude longitude but also in the altitude channel here we have an evaluation of our system you see gps and and this data, which working until until the uh, eight, 80 seconds. So until here, we have available GPS. And starting from this point, we made data fusion between INS and already trained, already trained ANFIS. Actually, we cutted here the GPS signal in the integration scheme when we made the simulation. So we, we put bad signals here and we have a switching between the uh, normal functioning and uh, the, sig the, the second phase, the estimation uh, uh, and the estimation uh the prediction uh, stage we have the gps data recorded but we use it just as reference so in the in the graphics we have starting from the 80 second the gps signal just as reference the the gps data after this moment uh are not used in the estimation of the position or of the speed. The results is presented for latitude channel, longitude channel, altitude, and also on the three channels of speed. We can see that we have noise uh, values of the positions, but also noisy values of the speeds, but the uh, synergic uh, solution provided by our system without GPS is near the solution of GPS. So the the, the system uh, working uh, good. 
I repeat, we use the GPS until this moment just to have a reference. And the system, uh, the system works good. The, the noise presented in the uh, final solution is due to the, fact, to the fact that the adaptive neurophasy inference system uh, was trained based, based on uh, inertial measurement unit uh, data, uh, which is provided by the accelerometers and by the gyros, which is very noisy. I repeat, is raw data with no filter. The conclusion, the conclusions is are, are that a MEMS INS GPS positioning device for urban life mobility improvement was proposed. The smart Amphis data fusion algorithm is used for the navigation solution error prediction when the GPS signals are unavailable. We include in the ANFIS the six, fuzzy uh, six independent fuzzy inference systems, each one for the three position channels and three, position, three uh, speed uh, channels. All the tests regarding the car position used in the, in the uh, data collecting were monitored in real time and marked on a map. In the data post-processing stage, it was tested various situations for the GPS signal uh, losing. In all situations, in all simulated situation, situations with experimental data has been observed that the navigation uh, solution with the synergy with the integrated navigator in the prediction mode, in the second mode, follow the reference data, even if the GPS signal was lost. The noisy responses obtained after the GPS signal uh, was lost were due to the physics training based on the inertial sensors output outputs, so based on the noisy signals. And the final conclusion, the proposed instruments works very well for short time, few minutes, with no GPS signal, and it, it is suitable to be implemented in various applications for urban life mobility improvement when the GPS signal may be lost or altered due to the blockage, multipath, or interference. We use the, uh, uh, all, uh, all channels, even uh, in the monitoring of the elderly people, we don't need the altitude because the the training is uh, the 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 adaptive neurophasy inference system uh, training uh, offers good results uh, when we use the 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 altitude channels and we have the possibility to have data both from INS, but also both from, INS, from uh, GPS part for all channels. So that's the reason for, for what we use the, uh, also the altitude uh, channel and also the vertical speed uh, channel in the training, but also in the uh, validation uh, step of the proposed, uh, of the proposed uh, mechanism. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, if you uh, have some questions, please. Thank you. Uh, questions, please. No question. Well, thank you once more for your presentation.